Folks, we have some pretty breaking news here as Buccaneers star linebacker Devin White has requested a trade from the team. This is per Jenna Lane of ESPN. This is also Jeremy Fowler reporting on this also. And huge, huge news regarding one of the top players on not just the Buccaneers defense, but the entirety of the Buccaneers team in general. And apparently, according to the reports, this is due to the fact that contract negotiations have stalled a little bit regarding Devin White and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That is one of the, if not the main reason as to why this trade request was made. Now, I want to say, look, it's not a guarantee that Devin White is going to get traded from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, okay? We have seen multiple situations in the past where star players have requested trades from their teams whenever contract negotiations are not going the best of ways. We actually just saw that recently with Lamar Jackson. He has requested a trade, and the Ravens have not caved in any types of trade requests yet. The Buccaneers could do the same exact thing, and look, it may still result in Devin White getting a long-term contract from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This could be a negotiating tactic from White and his camp to make the Buccaneers be a little bit more lenient, I guess is one word, but also negotiate a little bit better in regards to a potential long-term extension. However, on the flip side, there could be legitimate interest, interest from other teams regarding the possibility of trading for Devin White. He still is a very young, very, very good player. I don't need to tell you guys that. Everybody knows how good Devin White can be when he is on his A game. There have been some issues with consistency in the past, especially in pass coverage, but if you're looking for a guy who can make some pretty solid tackles, is a fantastic pass rushing inside linebacker, I think that you would be hard pressed to find many other guys out there who are just as good, if not better, than Devin White. So it is going to be interesting to see what the Buccaneers could potentially get in some type of Devin White trade. I know some people may say, well, if a team doesn't offer a first, then forget about it. And that may be a legitimate possibility. A team at the later end of round one may say, hey, Tampa, we will give you pick number 30, let's say, for example, for Devin White and the Buccaneers may genuinely consider that offer. It is also a possibility that a team may say, hey, we'll give you a second and a fifth round pick for Devin White. And I feel like that would still be some pretty good value in there as well. I think that there is going to be a pretty significant amount of interest. I'm not saying a deal is going to get done and that the Buccaneers even want a deal to get done because we've heard Jason Light, we've heard Todd Bowles talk about Devin White in the past and they love him. They think that he is a phenomenal piece to this defense. They want him to be around in Tampa for a long, long time and he is a great piece for a Todd Bowles style of defense specifically. So I'm not saying the Buccaneers want to trade Devin White. I'm not saying that that is a thing at all. I'm just saying that, hey, there may be some legitimately good, intriguing offers out there that the Buccaneers may genuinely sit there and consider moving forward throughout this process. So I think it is worth paying attention to not saying here because I don't have sources or anything, but not saying a deal is going to get done tomorrow or next week or something along those lines. We don't know how long that trade request has been in the pipeline or how long the Buccaneers have known about that. So it is definitely a very interesting, interesting situation. Definitely one worth paying attention to. And yeah, obviously any updates that are going to be present and available for this, we will be talking about it all here on this channel. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, you know, man, definitely split on this right now. Don't know if Devin White will be traded at the end of the day. We'll just have to see what teams are interested. And there's a lot of teams I feel that could be interested. A team like Buffalo, maybe a team like Kansas City. Teams that are looking to make, obviously, Super Bowl runs, deep playoff runs could... 100% use the services of Devin White. He'd be a great fit in, I feel like, a good amount of defenses and would just be a, again, a very good player that could get you a good amount of draft compensation, possibly, if the Bucks were to pull the, you know, tab, I guess I should say, and execute a trade for giving away Devin White to a different team. So, yeah, folks, this is going to be an interesting one. Let's pay attention to this and see what happens. The Bucks do still want to win some football games this upcoming season. They're not in a rebuild mode under any circumstances, especially Todd Bowles. He needs to win games as head coach of this football team. Jason Light does as well. They both love Devin White, and we'll see ultimately 
if any type of trade or, or what kind of rumors and discussions come up based on this trade request now. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this news down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go box.